Hi, it's another great day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. It's July 5th, and here is this beautiful plant. And all up and down here, this whole way, all right? This is uh, Texas sage. You can also call it ranger sage. Also goes by the names of Texas rain sage, Texas silver leaf, wild lilac, and Spanish cenizo. It's even known as the Texas barometer bush because it loves to flower just after the rain. Look at these beautiful little flowers here. Wow. Gorgeous. And here we have another shrub. He's doing great as well. Those great blooms. So this plant called Texas sage and the leaves here Okay, they kind of look like sage, and they smell like sage, and they taste like sage, but this is not a sage. Sages come from the genus Salvia, and this plant here is a Leucophyllum frutescens. All right, and Leucophyllum, it means white leaves, and frutescens means shrubby. All right, so there's really uh, light green leaves here. And of course, it's really shrubby. Okay, this is an evergreen coastal shrub native to Texas, northern Mexico. Likes to grow in ravines, depressions, hillsides, slopes. You can find it all over the southwest as an ornamental plant like we have here. Okay, it's a popular ornamental shrub. Works well as a hedge. Grows about two to five feet tall. It can even reach eight feet under certain conditions. And lots of people, they grow these as individual plants, but I like them as a group here. All right, all grouped together. And the leaves, let's take a look at some of the leaves here. Get a good spot in the sun. Okay, there we go. All right, so the leaves here, they're silvery gray. They alternate up the stem. One, two, three, as they work themselves up to the, to the top. They're very soft to the touch. They've got very smooth margins here. Okay, and rounded tips, which kind of taper down at the base. And they're densely covered with little silvery hairs. And those little uh, hairs provide shade on the leaves, they block the sun, they help reduce the sunlight, and help reduce evaporation and transpiration. And the dried leaves, you can brew them into an herbal tea, like a mildly sedative, good as a bedtime drink, and for treating colds, all right? Let's find some flowers here. Talk about some flowers. All right, so it's a seasonal bloomer. It's got very showy purple flowers. And these are solitary axillary flowers with little bell or funnel shape. And each flower here, here we go. See that? Little bell or funnel shape. Okay. Each flower has five lobes and two lips. And they're bisymmetrical. Oops. All right, so they're bisymmetrical. And they're born singly on these little crowded leaf axles. And you show them as tiny buds on the stem. I don't see any little buds here, but they'll show up. And the flowers here can come in purple, like we have here, like lavender, also white, and violet. It loves to bloom after it rains. There's a really healthy one here. Wow. So they're easy to grow. They like direct hot sun, low maintenance, almost no fertilizer, very little water. And best if you plant it like on a slope here, like we have, so it drains down. You don't get any water buildup on the root or maybe the burl, the base of the plant. 
Okay, it's a great pollinator, attracting both bees and butterflies. There's a bee right here. There he goes. He's getting inside that little tubular flower. How about that? Anyway, that's our Texas sage. It's a great, easy plant to grow out in the uh, southwest, California, Arizona, Nevada, Mexico, that kind of area. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.